Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving the Microsoft Visual C 2015 redistributable setup failed error message 0x8024017. So, this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So, first thing I'd recommend doing would be to open up the search menu. And you want to type in settings. Best match, come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. You want to go and select at the bottom. You want to scroll down on the system tab or the system page. It should be the landing page here. Select troubleshoot. Go ahead and left click on that. And then you want to select other troubleshooters. Go ahead and left click on that. Underneath most frequent, select Windows Update and then run. So once that's done, close out of here. Close out of here again. Open up the search menu. Type in File Explorer. Go ahead and open that up. Select this PC on the left side, and then double click on your local disk where Windows is installed. Double click on the Windows folder, and then go down to Software Distribution. Double click on it. Double click on the Download folder, and then tap Control A on your keyboard, or just drag over all the files and folders in here. Right click and delete, so select the little trash can icon. You can select delete on your keyboard as well. If there are any items that it cannot remove, that's okay. You can skip them, but we're just going to go ahead and continue. And once it's done, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. And once it's done, go ahead and open up the search menu again. Type in CMD, best result, should come back with command prompt. Right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now you want to go type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. And once it's done, close out of here and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem. And then go ahead and attempt to download and install the Visual C++ 2015 again. And hopefully that would have been able to install successfully now. So pretty straightforward process. I do a buzz able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.